Tom Peters, The Pursuit of Wow, Every Person's Guide to Topsy-Turvy Times. In this book summary of The Pursuit of Wow, Every Person's Guide to Topsy-Turvy Times by Tom Peters, we explore the concept of e-wow, which signifies excitement, enthusiasm, and success that sets you and your company apart from the crowd. The summary delves into critical concepts such as empowerment, virtual organizations, curiosity, leveraged knowledge, re-engineering, and total quality management. It also discusses the importance of employee recognition, personal branding, design, innovation, diversity, and global competitiveness. Pursue the WOW Pursuing excellence and success is attainable with WOW. Through determination, risk-taking, and embracing errors, anyone can achieve greatness. The key is to start now and not compromise, no matter the obstacles. The Bon Marque stores incorrect advertisement of a compact disc, CD, player for $99 instead of the actual $179, was a mistake that turned into a huge game. They honored the advertised price resulting in 4,000 orders at a loss of around $200,000. But the store's reputation for trustworthiness and value skyrocketed, along with a feature story in the New York Times. Pursuing the WOW demands anticipating making mistakes, respecting them, and learning from them. The key is not to stop, to keep playing the new game until it's accomplished. In a nanosecond, making the decision to strive for excellence is crucial, and working passionately towards that goal guarantees success. Steps for Corporate Transformation In today's business world, companies face the challenge of transforming to stay competitive. Several key concepts can help corporations in the process of transformation. These include empowerment, virtual organizations, curious organizations, leveraged knowledge, re-engineering, and total quality management. Empowerment involves giving more responsibility and power to individuals at all levels of the organization, focusing on those on the front lines. Virtual organizations don't require owning all resources. Instead, companies can buy access to them when needed. Curious organizations prioritize innovation by taking chances and trying new things. Leveraged knowledge emphasizes gathering and sharing information. Re-engineering is about re-examining the way a company carries out its processes, rather than deflating hierarchies. Lastly, total quality management emphasizes the importance of quality products that work without fail. Overall, these concepts support corporate transformation by encouraging companies to prioritize their people, adopt new technologies, embrace innovation, and streamline their operations. By applying these principles, businesses can rise to the challenge of transformation and stay ahead in today's fiercely competitive marketplace. Recognition and Empowerment at Work The importance of recognizing and empowering employees to create a positive work environment is highlighted in this book summary. Employees are more likely to feel valued and their efforts are recognized and appreciated. Rather than just offering verbal praise, sending handwritten notes or holding ceremonies to acknowledge achievements can go a long way in showing genuine appreciation. Creating an environment of generosity and altruism can inspire people to behave in a positive and supportive way. Even small gestures of appreciation can have a significant impact on employee motivation and overall job performance. Encouraging employees to think of themselves as entrepreneurs can also lead to improved job performance and customer service. Treating employees with respect and offering them TLC can go a long way in promoting a positive work culture. It is important to empower employees by removing impediments from their work and showing commitment towards mutual goals. Managing oneself at work is also crucial to success. It is important to dress for success as it cultivates power and increases the power projected. When conducting interviews, it is advisable to save the most critical interviews for last and conduct them after having a general idea of the situation. Overall, recognizing and empowering employees can lead to a positive work environment and improve job performance. Cultivating individuality in the workplace. In today's world, Companies should value each employee's unique knowledge, imagination, curiosity, 
and talent, instead of enforcing mass production. By organizing employees' work into projects and encouraging initiative, companies can foster personal growth and create a loyal, motivated workforce. Rather than issuing a long list of rules, give employees a do manual to enable them to take on more responsibility and be creative. It's important to encourage customer service employees to develop their own way of relating to customers and to keep both employees and customers informed about any problems that may arise. Finally, the most successful people have the best networks, so building a strong Rolodex and using word-of-mouth marketing can work wonders for a company's reputation. The power of good design. Good design is crucial in making your product stand out from competitors, no matter how mundane the item may seem. Simple yet effective design can elevate any product or service, increasing its perceived value and allowing it to be seen as unique. Investing in good design can help keep your product from becoming a commodity, and consumers are willing to pay more for distinctive packaging and design. Even something as ordinary as parking services can be made special through branding and creative marketing efforts. Companies should consider design in all aspects of their business, from product development to marketing efforts. The key is to keep reinventing and being creative to distinguish yourself from the competition and constantly recreate yourself. The takeaway is that good design creates opportunity, and it is an investment that pays off in the long run. Standout employees. Building a successful company culture requires treating employees like innovators and making them feel valued. Damar, a plumbing company, transformed its workers into service advisors by implementing a grooming code and Dale Carnegie courses. Training employees in a juiced up, revival meeting environment helped create excitement for their work. Companies should reward inventors and avoid pushing them out of the mainstream as it discourages innovation. Disruptions should be greeted with bold strategies to create, wow, ideas, motivating employees and delighting customers. Asia's Growing Influence on Global Economy Asia is a key player in the global economy and its growing influence can shape the financial well-being of the rest of the world. Companies must adapt and compete in response to Asia's rapid growth in trade and foreign investment. U.S. companies should not respond with fear, but rather recognize and embrace diversity as an opportunity to increase creativity in their organization. Managers must also invest in cultural diversity training for their employees. In conclusion, the pursuit of WOW offers valuable insights on navigating the rapidly changing business environment by focusing on essential elements like empowerment, innovation, and diversity. It emphasizes the need for organizations to be agile, flexible, and adaptable by embracing change, taking risks, and learning from mistakes. Tom Peters encourages leaders to empower their employees by nurturing their creativity, talents, and personal growth. Developing a strong corporate culture that promotes individuality, effective communication, and attention to design will contribute to an organization's overall success. To remain competitive in today's global arena, businesses must be proactive in understanding upcoming trends, embracing cultural and geographical diversity, and seizing the opportunities that arise from these shifts.